Marcus Paz with AB Boxing is right here with the newly crowned WBA gold world champion Thomas Cornflake Lamana. Thomas, first off, congratulations for your knockout victory over Juan Carlos Abreu. Walk us through how you led the up to the knockout. What set it up? Um, yeah, like the first round was pretty competitive. Um, but I felt like he was his legs, like his legs weren't there. Like he was overweight. He struggled to make weight and I had to take full advantage of that. He's a crafty vet, so it's like I feel like the longer the fight goes he'll find a way to survive. And I think y'all can notice that. And I noticed too, because in the first and second round, he was coming forward. Then I noticed we're touching him to the body a little bit. He started, I, I was hearing him like huffing it. <laughs> and then he was trying to do some dirty shit, like hit me in the back of my head or whatever, but, oh shit, hit me in the back of my head. But I mean, I, I just kind of knew like, I would break him down, break him down, break him down. And then in the third round, he uh, like ducked down right into like a shot, whether it was like a, a hook or uppercut, whatever, kind of ring my hand. So I knew that would, I knew I fucked him up and he went down. Playing out the window, just go get him. Right, Just right. go get him. And uh, one of us gonna land for first and, and I guess I got it. But he hit me with a couple. So. You've mentioned it in the past that you sparred Juan Carlos in, in, yeah. in the past yeah, in training camps. Yeah. Do you believe that that's something that uh, influenced uh, your confidence going into this fight, knowing that you know him uh, somewhat going into the fight? I mean, it made it a little bit, like you're not going in there like with a big ass question mark. So it's like you kind of know. I know he's heavy handed. He's strong, which he is. Slow as shit, but you know he'll like he got that speed, bro. Like he'll like walk you into some shots on accident. You just gotta be sharp and smart. 